Three. So yeah, welcome everybody to the one, the only Roller Coaster Tycoon. Done through OpenRCT2, which is an open source platform that kind of combines Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2 together and has some quality of life improvements as well. We've done a couple of these streams before in the past, four of them to be precise. We did Forest Frontiers <laughs> for about what I think my 24th or 25th, I think 24th birthday stream. We did Dynamite Dunes and made it Tatooine from Star Wars. We did Leafy Lake and made it a Beatrix Potter Park. We did Diamond Heights and made a fast food world. So today we are on the fifth scenario, Evergreen Gardens. Convert the beautiful Evergreen Gardens into a thriving theme park. And we got to get at least a thousand guests in our park at the end of October year four with a park rating of at least 600. I think that should be pretty doable. <laughs> so there, were, one of the, there are a couple reasons I haven't done Roller Coaster Tycoon in a while. Most of them are involved with the fact that I had to get a new PC last year, and in doing so, I actually lost all my Roller Coaster Tycoon data and still wasn't able to recover it. I actually had to beat these four scenarios again with the same, uh, completed by names. And this means all of our saved parks and all of our saved rides from the family computer that I grew up with are gone now, and I can't figure out a way to get them back, so that kind of sucks. Anyways, though, so we're going to Evergreen Gardens today. Scenario number five, we're going to make a beautiful park. Now, the first thing you do in Evergreen Gardens, there's one guest wandering the park who is very, very, very far away from absolutely everything. So what you want to do, you got to pick him up, bring him back here, otherwise he's going to be lost forever. Evergreen Gardens, as we can see, it's a pretty big park. There's a lot here. It's very beautiful. But there's also a lot of pathways already made, and that means guests are going to get lost really quickly. We don't want that, so we're going to just delete some of these uh, pathways to begin with. This is going to be Artie's trip to Europe as a theme park. So I'll kind of go over a lot of the stuff I did just by building it in this theme park, and it's going to be great and not terrible at all. So first thing, uh, oh, cool, it's already at maximum funding. How wonderful. Uh, let's get a drink stall. Oh, okay, one thing I really liked. I got this in England. There was an apple soda. I can't remember what it was called, but I got it from a fast food place, and it was amazing, and I'm very sad we don't have that in here in the States. I don't think it was, like, apple ties or anything, but... Oh, another thing that I discovered. Apparently, the Brits really, really, really like their ice cream because literally when I was in Britain... It felt like one building out of every five was an ice cream stall of some kind. So, <laughs> we'll call it British Ice Cream number one of 10,000. It was one of the places in the Cotswolds. It was like a village. And I swear one building out of every four was an ice cream place. I'm just like, that seems a little excessive. I'm so glad it took a lot of money just to get one merry-go-round that I don't even have a name for it. Average roundabout in Britain. <laughs> Britain loves their roundabouts. There are very few actual intersections in the roads. Every Everything's a roundabout. So for this, uh, we'll make it... Oh, wow. This is, these are a lot of colors to choose from. Make it pavement colored, and then we'll have yellow stripes. Just like the real roundabouts. <laughs> also, I, f I think I figured out what to name the restroom. Yeah, we're naming it Glasgow. <laughs> you know, that, that big city in Scotland. No, Glasgow is a giant toilet, because I couldn't park anywhere. L literally. We'll be talking more about parking in Britain in a bit. <laughs> oh, maze has a lot of potential. So this maze is very, so it's like, oh yeah, it's just a straight line, then haha, <laughs> psych, no, we stop it at the very end. Okay, so we're gonna make this brick walls, for sure, and we are going to call this <laughs> driving through, that's not how you spell through, Dublin Port. Of all the places I had to drive, Dublin Port is my least favorite place to drive in the entire world. And it's it's story time with Artie now, everybody. Oh wait, was I am I charging for my merry-go-round? Ah, no! You have to pay for that. Okay, yeah. So it's driving for Dublin Port. So I flew into Dublin, which is uh, Ireland. Excuse me. Let me scroll properly, please, and thank you. So as I was trying to say, flew into Dublin. And to get from Ireland to 
the rest of the British Isles, uh, you've got to cross a body of water. So I took a ferry from Dublin Port to Holyhead in Wales to get to the British Isles. And I was driving through. I had my... And I... They were basically like, okay, last check-in to get on the ferry is like 45 minutes before the ferry takes off. So I allotted like almost two full hours to drive there. I'm like, yeah, that's plenty of time because, you know, Dublin Port is right next to Dublin Airport. So I'm driving, and keep in mind, this is my first time driving on the other side of the road, so I'm already kind of high-stressed being like, I hope I don't do anything stupid. And I have to use my map app to navigate, and I'm terrible with navigation. I'm getting to the actual port area. It's a giant harbor with not really anything indicating where to go for specific ferries. So I get to a point, I'm kind of just ambling around. My GPS is not helping me with this specific area. I get kind of towards the end of the port, and there's a, like a split. You can go left or right. And there's a sign to the left saying, exit up to Dublin Port this way, to the left. And I'm like, okay, I don't want to exit Dublin Port, so I go to the right. Turns out going to the right puts you on a freeway, or a motorway in this case, that takes you like five miles away from Dublin Port, forces you to pay a toll along the way, and you cannot get off the freeway once you get on. It literally outright lied to me that like, this is the way to get off the port. Psych! It's actually this way, you idiot! So that that's kind of what the maze is doing here, where it's like, oh yeah, the exit's this way. <laughs> no, it's not! Hiking in Snowdonia. So this was one of the first things I did. Uh, I went to Snowdonia Ma National Park in Wales and went hiking in the national park there. And it, it was very fun. Hit several national parks in the areas. Not as many as were on the itinerary because hiking in there is pretty exhausting. But there, there was a, a nice little waterfall that I got to see in Snowdonia as well as uh, just climbing up some small hills. It was very fun, very enjoyable. Hence why I made it a roller coaster. Now let's see. So the path. Chartreuse or whatever that is. Saturated green. And yeah, brown supports. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh, actually, no, wait, hang on. No, this is not hiking in Snowdonia. I have a different I have a different idea for that. This is actually gonna be hiking in uh let's say Loch Lomond. Specifically, hiking up Conic Hill in Loch Lomond. There we go. That's a pretty cool coaster. You gotta do it. Okay, are people gonna hike up Conic Hill? Hiking up Conic Hill looks too intense for me. No, 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 no. It's a little hard, but it's actually it's actually quite nice. Parking in Europe. That might uh, having a ride that people can't reach might tank my park value. That's okay. My park value is actually doing pretty well. Uh, we're gonna call this. <laughs> <laughs> standing near smokers. There are a lot of smokers in Europe. This is gonna be, I'm not going to pay that much to stand near smokers. Yep. Uh, one thing that we should be doing. Uh, where is the options menu? Yes, right here. We should, we should be using pounds. We should also be using English in the UK. We should be using Celsius. Um... They don't really use... They still do kind of use the Imperial system in a lot of ways. They're still using it miles per hour. And we got to do day, month, year. We got we to do it the English way. Not enough cash! Come on! I need more money. I need more money. I need more money! <laughs> I need just, like, 50 more pounds! More people need to come to the park. Or we need it to rain. Also, another thing... They charge for the bathrooms! If for a lot of the bathrooms in Europe. So bathrooms are going to be 50 pence. Assuming that people will pay for it. Uh... Oh, wait. Okay, I know. I know. This is going to be the walking tour in Oxford. And this is actually poetic. Because I took a walking tour in Oxford. Uh, Oxford University. And I got, like, they kind of walked us through the library area. And, like, partway through, they're like, all right, we're going to give people some free time. So you can, like, kind of wander around the streets of Oxford. And they're like, uh, <laughs> guests can't get to the entrance of parking in Europe. You, exactly! There's no, you can't get to parking in Europe because there's no parking spots available. That's the, that's the joke. That's the joke, you idiot. 
What do people think about it? I can't find parking in Europe. Neither could I. <laughs> Halfway through the, the walking tour of Oxford, they're like, all right, all right, go off on your own. In 40 minutes, like, meet back at, at this spot. And, like, to get to, like, the meetup spot, go down this way, turn right, go down this way. I'm like, I did that, and there was no meeting spot. And they did not tell us, like, any landmarks or anything to look for. So I literally only got to do half of the walking tour. <laughs> Hence why I made it this. Because you actually only get to go up halfway through the loop before you have to go back. <laughs> yeah, that, that's uh, that's pretty great. Can I really call it the London Eye if I didn't go on it, though? Yeah, I think I have to. I'll call it London Eye, but I didn't ride. <laughs> There we go. Uh, I don't know the colors for the London Eye, but I'm assuming it's something like white and white and, like, gold or something. Yeah, it's, it's probably something like that. Oh, ne see, now everybody wants to stand near smokers. Standing near smokers is great! <laughs> no, it wasn't. You don't want to inhale that secondhand smoke. All right, the uh, corkscrew coaster. Uh, this is gonna be <laughs> going down a dead end in Wales. I did go down a dead end road in Wales once, but it, it didn't end badly. It was more just there was like an elderly couple walking, and they kind of like waved me down. They're like, "Uh, are you meeting someone down here?" I'm like, "No." They're like, "Oh, well, that just leads to a dead end." I'm like, "Thanks for letting me know." And just they did a U-turn. This one is going to be Snowdonia Waterfall. Because there was a very nice waterfall that I saw in Snowdonia National Park. Wow, look at all the lemmings going through. Nobody's thinking anything about it. This is untested, by the way, but it's okay. Log flumes can't crash. Are people not paying that much to go down a dead-end road in Wales? What if we increase the launch speed slightly? I'm not, going, I'm not standing near smokers while it's raining. I'll do it when it's sunny, but not while it's rainy. <laughs> okay, are people saying, I can't find parking in Europe? <laughs> Neither could I. Neither could I. That joke just gets funnier the longer this goes on. Another toilet. Another set of toilets. How great. Uh, what was another disappointment? Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. How about the London bus system? The London bus system was absolutely awful. Oh, also, are people willing to pay? No. Okay. All right. The joke's over. See? They're, see? They're based. They don't want to pay 50 pence to go to the bathroom. Take a hint, London. Okay. Burger bar. Where did I get burgers? I, did I get a single burger there? I got, like, a chicken burger and a Piri Piri burger. I will call this Super Bites, which was a fast food place that I did go to, and it was pretty good. Super bites. Uh, what other drinks did I get? Um. Ooh. Uh, what was it called? Uh. <laughs> I'll call it that one. Actually, no, no, no. Okay. I'll, I'll save that for later. I'll go with just a 24 pack of water bottles. Because I bought that. One of, one of the first things I did when I got there is I bought a giant, like, 24 pack of water bottles from a convenience store. And it was a good decision. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I got a good one here, folks. I got a good one here. This is going to be the Observation Tower of London. And it's funny because, you know, the Tower of London, I did that in London. It was very fun. We had a tour guide who was extremely funny. Very, very great tour guide. And it was just a cool place to explore. Although I will say, despite being called the Tower of London, it was one of the shorter buildings in London. It really didn't go up that high. Going down a dead end in Wales was great. I got to talk to two people. How? Yes, I'm sure you did. I'm going to just preemptively call this boat trip through Loch Lomond, because I did do a boat ride for Loch Lomond, which was really cool. Uh, we're going to keep it closed for now, but it'll just kind of be there when we eventually expand to that area. Standing near smokers, we can have this be Grey Castle. It used to be brown, but then all the secondhand smoke turned it uh, gray. I'm going to only charge 80p. Is that all right? Is that acceptable? Uh-oh, that guy's mad. That guy's mad. But at least it's indoors, so if it's raining, people will go on this. Okay. A haunted house. Um. Oh, oh, I know. This will be the Plus Escara, so that's one of the 
bed and breakfasts I stayed at, which was like the fanciest one where it's, they're like, oh yeah, this was like, like the original building for this was made in like the 700s, uh, like AD, and then there was like an expansion in 1400, then there was an expansion in 1700. It was very impressive. It's very fancy. It's kind of remote near like a beautiful area. That's great. That's great. Ooh, uh, you know what? I'll rename the London bus system since I might make that like a ride. I'll call this the fake Plas Esker. Because there were two Plas Eskers in Wales. And one of them was the actual place. And the one that my GPS routed me to was a fake one that was like kind of in the area, same area, but not quite. So for those who are curious, I am making the London Underground. <laughs> And because it's free, and, oh, it's free and it's covered. So people actually will ride that. Like, pretty much any time they see it. Start picking up the litter, please. Mr. Frensky, don't think you're getting off easy either. What the heck? Those trash cans got broken instantly. These stupid vandals. I'm literally fixing the problem. Look at that! That trash can! Broke instantly. I'm working on it with all the... Okay, we, maybe we need another handyman. Get over here and start picking it. What? Who are these vandals? They're like, I'm so mad that there's trash everywhere. I'm going to break the trash can so that way nobody can throw their trash in there. It's just an infinite cycle. Okay. Okay, watch this. Replace it. Boom. That one got... Vandals are only supposed to break your trash cans when there's too much litter. So I don't exactly know why they keep breaking it when I've picked up all the litter. The guy on the bus has left the park. Oh, what a shame. Frilling. Oh, look at that! Standing near smokers all of a sudden has a massive line now. Oh, you just got a pirate ship! Oh, fantastic. I already know what to do with this one. I already know what to do with this bad boy. Okay, we need to more aggressively expand. We can't... We shouldn't be bunching everything up in one area. Because that's just making it extremely crowded. And guests don't like that. This will be... Ferry to Holyhead. Alright, we want to expand closer to the boat hire, methinks. So how about we build a wooden coaster on the water? I think that should actually be pretty good. What are the test results? High, high, medium! Yeehaw. Oh, wait. No, you have to pay! I hate how it gives default data. Yeah, you can get it for free. Alright, this is a high excitement ride, so we're going to charge free 50. So parking in London. So we had, we had the funny joke, but now that it's broken... Now that it's broken down... Let's just delete it. It wasn't that funny to begin with. This is a pretty exciting main. So what, what was the most exciting thing that I did? Hmm. That's a tough one, actually. Oh, oh this will be the Reign of Carry. I did the drive for the Reign of Carry, and it was really, really cool. Yeah, like, it, who says the boat ride... Who says the car ride has to be complicated? Alright, what cars should it be? Sports cars... We can have racing cars, and we can have pickup trucks. Huh. I mean, they're all so great. I don't know. They're not sports cars, clearly. Oh, uh, let's see. What do we call this one? Something related to driving. Because there was a lot of that. This one will be the bus routes for London. They're different colors per car. I'm sorry. Then there's going to be one car that's green, and my the bus that I needed to take was green. So you got to find you got to find the special green bus, everybody. <laughs> this is what it felt like. It just felt like you were going through a bunch of like mystery doors over and over again. <laughs> so you just couldn't see where the buses were coming or going from. The bus routes were so complicated, man. They were they were so complicated. No, it's not free to go to the bus. That's not free to go on the bus. You kidding me? 
Nothing in this world is free. Got a water slide? Oh man! Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Gonna have a station here. Then we'll have a station down here. And then there's just gonna be a special way back. <laughs> Where nobody, nobody, nobody actually has to ride on the way back. And this is going to be... Uh, what was it called? Oh yeah, the Torque Waterfall. All right, here we go. We're going to open up the new routes. More people can get lost. It's going to be great. The first information chaos can be Gloucester Cathedral. Because that's where all the good stuff is. <laughs> there we go, Gloucester Cathedral. And then the second one, this can be the church I went to in Ireland. Church. Oh, we achieved, uh, uh, I was going to call it the Church of St. Finbar, but there we go. We completed our objective in less than half the time that they allotted. Yay! We did not cover all of my trip to Europe at all, but you know what? It was still fun anyways. We get to enter our name into the scenario chart. Okay, I got to think about this. Oh, man, we got the chip shop at the end of it all. <laughs> no! That's such a shame. I wish I could have had that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Will that fit? The congregation of the Church of Scotland. I went to a church in Scotland, and they were very happy to have me. I was by far the youngest person there. Yeah, we'll, we'll try that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Shoutouts to the Church of Scotland. They, they were real. Lunch with Proxima. The Chippy. I'll call this <laughs> the 11 bakeries already went to. Exaggerated, but... I went to a lot of bakeries. Uh, oh, okay, okay. One final thing. I'm going to offend all of Ireland here, but I apologize. This is Guinness. Look, I respect what the Irish think of Guinness, but I had a Guinness there, and it was bad. I didn't like it. But I also just don't like alcohol. So there we go. We, we get to end the park by insulting all of Ireland. Ireland.